So are you a personal trainer who's looking to create a client base of high paying clients where you're able to work less hours without having to invest in a high ticket 5k business guru coach to get you to that point? If that's something you'd like to achieve, then you are definitely in the right place. Over the next 25 minutes or so, I'm going to be sharing with you six specific things that can help put you in that position. Hi and welcome, my name's Eric Simpson. I'm a personal trainer, probably very similar to you. I'm gonna spend this first five minutes or so just to give you some background before we get into those six specific things which will hopefully give you a better understanding. So just kind of bear with me for a few minutes while I go through that. Now, I just wanna share with you a few images uh, of clients that I have had on my books uh, so that you know that this stuff is not made up, it's real, it works. Uh, this is me doing a, a social event, me working one-to-one -one with somebody, me working online with somebody. So. These are just things that I have done in my business, just to sort of evidence to you that I am real, I'm not making things up. Everything I'll be sharing with you today is based on what I've actually done. Now, you may be wondering, why is Eric doing this? Well, I'm doing it for three specific reasons for complete transparency. Number one, I enjoy coaching and teaching. If nobody ever watched this video, you know what? I'd still be happy because I enjoy delivering this information. I worked at a PT school back in the day when I was in the military. Uh, for getting on for three years, I actually wanted to turn down promotion so I could keep on working at that PT school because I enjoy teaching and coaching that much. So that's one reason why I'm doing this today. It kind of fills my spirit with a lot of joy. The second reason I'm doing it is because had I have had access to this level of information when I started out, I genuinely think I'd have shaven off anywhere between three and five years off my journey to get to where I got to with my personal training business. And I genuinely mean that. And the third reason is, if you like what you hear today, then I'm gonna invite you to potentially have you and I work together on a one day workshop where you get to create, understand how to market and sell your own high ticket program all in the space of one day. So that's what's on offer at the end of this training. And I'll be directing you specifically to this website where you can find out more information about that. I'm not gonna go on about that now, I'll speak a bit more about it later. But just a little bit about my background, uh, just so you know that, again, I am coming from the real world. I do live in the real world and I've worked in the real world. I started PTing it full time in 2006. Everything was fantastic. And then we got hit by this, the financial crash. You may have been around then as well. That had a pretty big impact across all businesses. Um, or not all, but most businesses. And the six things I'll be sharing with you are what I believe helped me to get through that situation. And then in Salisbury, where I had my personal uh, gym, my private studio, we had the Novichok attack, which you may or may not recall. But when that Novichok attack happened, Salisbury kind of like ground to a bit of a standstill. People were fearful coming in because they thought they were going to be poisoned by this nerve agent. Well, the restaurant that was closed down, the restaurant called ZZ's, was quite literally about 50, 60 meters away from my personal training studio. So I still had to be attracting people into my facility during the coordination, you know, things being kind of temporarily locked down. But beyond that, so it had a long reaching impact for weeks and months after things had cleared up. And this is just me having a conversation with, at the then time, uh, Home Secretary Amber Rudd, our local MP, um, Wilkshire Constabulary Deputy Chief, I think this was, and another business owner. So that was me uh, being invited to speak uh, to them. I think I was featured on Sky TV, funnily enough. And then over here, obviously we all know about this one, the recent pandemic, um, which we all endured and it had a massive impact across pretty much all businesses. And certainly the health and wellbeing sector was absolutely smashed. And I, I know some people that I know in this sector just did not survive and get through this. Uh, which was very sad and very upsetting for not just them, but I think for the whole sector to see it be decimated like that. And I know other sectors were decimated as well, so it wasn't a good time. But again, the six things I'm going to be sharing with you, I believe are the six things that got me through that pandemic and kept me in business. And then this, these final few images down here, this is me just uh, an event I organised for local health and wellbeing businesses, ranging from chiropractors, physiotherapists, opticians, we all came together. I organized an event where we all got to promote our services to the local community. And here, this is me delivering to some of those business owners. Uh, again, a networking group that I organized and ran for five years called the Health and Wellbeing Group, where we spoke about business growth and excellence. And that's me leading a business growth and excellence session to uh, other business owners. And then probably the most pertinent one, I guess, for what I'm talking about today 
is me here working with a client, her name's Marie, uh, 50 years of age, lost 57 pounds, got herself, as you can see, into great shape, because I work with, my specialist area is busy professional women over 40 that wanna lose 20 pounds or more. So that just kind of gives you a bit of my background, hopefully, uh, and maybe gives you a bit of confidence in what I'm about to share with you with these six things that I believe you need to have in place if you are gonna create that high ticket, uh, high priced uh, clientele base, uh, be able to work less hours, which is always nice, and do it without having to invest you know, five, six, 10,000 pounds with a business guru that's gonna to promise to get you to that point. You don't need to do that. So let's get into number one to kick it off with then. So number one is really super important. Know your personal financial goals. And what do I mean by that? Well, if I just go back in my own personal career, when I started as a personal trainer, I started off doing it part-time. Why? Because I was in the military and I was just sort of, you know, dipping my toe in. Did it really matter how much I earned? No, it didn't. Why? Because I had a full-time job that paid for my holidays, my car, my mortgage and everything else. So anything I earned from personal training really was just additional beer token money. And I use that term loosely. I didn't drink a lot of beer, but it was just money that if I didn't have it, it wasn't a big deal. When I left the military and went into this full-time, then things changed. My personal financial goals had to be increased because I was mortgage, car, family and everything else. So my goals changed. Now where I'm in my career, it's kind of gone full circle. I don't need to be earning like I was earning when I was full time or seeing the number of clients I was seeing. You know, I was up to around about 25, 35 uh, hours a week for myself. Plus I was running uh, facilities, my own uh, gyms, uh, personal training studios, had staff, so I was having to get working for them as well. So you can imagine my personal financial goals changed dramatically from when I had just started out part-time <clears throat> and to where I am now, where I don't, I no longer have a private facility that I'm running or staff I need to be finding work for. So I think it's important you understand where you are in your own personal journey as to what your financial goals are. And I say it for another reason, and that's because within the personal training field area now, there's, there's a big thing about we have to earn 10,000 pounds a month. Uh, we shouldn't be doing one-to-one, -one, we should be doing group training so we can get to those sort of big figures. And whilst that might be nice to get to 10K, and I've been there, I know what it's like, there's some things you need to bear in mind. And one of them is when you go above 85,000 pounds, I think it is now, or maybe 86, then the tax you're paying is considerable. So you're actually more profitable, depending on what your goals are, staying below that figure. That's number one, so you need to bear that in mind. But also, you may not need to earn 10,000 six figures a year. That may not be something that you need to earn. And you can actually be more profitable earning 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 pounds a month with minimal overheads. But what you need to do is set your own personal financial goals and not be sucked into this hype about 10K a month because I've seen it happen. I've spoken to trainers that it's happened to. They get seduced by that figure. And then it kind of makes sense to pay a guru 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 pounds if they're going to help you to generate 10K months, 100K months. It makes sense. But very few people do that. You know, It makes their fee look quite small. Am I saying that the gurus out there that are charging that money are ripping people off? Absolutely not. The gurus out there that are charging 5,000, 10,000 and are worth every single penny of that and more because they do an incredible job. But sadly, I would say the vast majority of them that are out there are not doing an incredible job and are merely people who have done a coaching program and are just regurgitating what they've learned but with no real experience themselves. So get really clear on knowing what your own personal financial goals are because that will set the... Um, I guess the surroundings, it, it will it will focus you on what you need to do and what you need to be investing in and how serious you need to be about this stuff. So that's number one. Number two, uh, know what problem you solve. And this breaks down into three specific areas. So know what problem you need to solve. So you, need, you know, need to know the problem. You need to know how big that problem is and you need to know who wants that problem solving. So let me give you an example from my own experience. So what's the problem? that I'm solving, what's the big problem? Well, the problem is uh, weight loss. Uh, how big is a problem? It's 20 pounds or more. And who wants that problem solving? Busy professional women over 40. So that's how I break that down. 
and you want to do exactly the same with whatever sector that you are in. I say my sector is weight loss for busy professional women. You might be into physique, bodybuilding, you might be into strength and conditioning, you might be into sports, but whatever it is, it needs to be a problem that you're solving or you're helping them to achieve something. Uh, it needs to be big enough, you know, the design's gotta be there and you've gotta have people that you know want it. Those three things have to be ticked off, yeah? So that's know what problem you solve. Number three, create your signature program to solve that problem. Create a signature program that's specifically designed to solve that problem. And I'd recommend that that program is a minimum of 12 weeks in duration because for anybody to get any sort of significant physiological change in their body, certainly with weight loss, they're going to need at least 12 weeks to see an appreciable difference, okay? At least 12 weeks. So create your signature program to solve that problem. Number four, charge for your solution, that signature program. Charge for that, not for your hourly rate. Yes, you may be seeing somebody for uh, an hour at a time, but you're not charging for the hour when you create a signature program. What you're charging them for is that solution that they came to you for. What they believe they're buying is not an hourly PT session. They believe, if you sell it and market it properly, they're buying a solution. I'll give you an example for myself outside of PT. I had a bad back a number of years ago. And I've got a background in rehab. I've got a degree in exercise rehabilitation as well. And I've run rehab clinics in the past. And I had a back back, lower back pain, non-specific lower back pain. And I've treated that for over 10 years when I was doing it professionally. And I know what the exercises are in order to get that sorted out. So here I am struggling with back pain. Uh, I, was teaching, I remember teaching a Pilates class once and only moving around the room when my clients were face down so they couldn't see me hobbling around the room. So I was in a pretty bad way. And we had a family member who was a, a PT teacher going through a similar thing as well with his back. And we both were faced with the harsh reality and it was this. We either went for an operation or we rehabbed the heck out of it. And even doing that might not have been the solution. Well, coming from a rehab background, I kind of figured that's what I'm gonna do. And I was doing as much rehab as I could. But leading up to that rehab, before I started that intensive rehab, I was looking around at solutions. And the one that caught my eye was not the one-off chiropractic or physio, but there was a particular practitioner that was offering a, a, a back rehab solution for lower back pain. And it was coming in at about just under a thousand pounds. And I was that close to going, you know what, I'm gonna pay for that. Why? Because that was a solution. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about paying per session, I don't know if she's charging maybe 45, 50 pounds per session. I was just thinking about pay the money, it's a chunk of cash, but I'm paying for a solution. And that's how people think when you create a signature program and you're charging for that as your solution. If you're selling hour by hour, you devalue yourself, you devalue the service, and you just become a commodity that people can easily compare you against somebody else. And the other thing that it allows you to do when you create a signature program and you're charging for your solution, you can start to adjust your prices and how much time you invest in these people. I went from an hour session with people and I dropped it down to half hour sessions. I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs of that now because it'd make this video too long or this training too long, but I was able to go from hour sessions, dropping it down to half hour sessions. I'm now in a situation where my sessions are, uh, I charge more now per half hour than what I did when I was seeing people face to face. And I spend even less time with them now, anywhere between five and 25 minutes. Why? Because I'm selling a solution, not hourly sessions. Okay, number five. Learn how to attract the right people at low cost. This is really, really important, this. Again, there's a lot of talk out there about doing Facebook advertising. And that's the big one that a lot of personal trainers get spoken to about and what a lot of personal trainers are sold on, uh, do Facebook advertising, which I think is excellent by the way, no issue with it at all. But the reality of it is, it does cost money and you've got a choice. You either learn to do some low cost things yourself, and I'm gonna share with you in a moment a really, really good one, that's a really fast way to find clients. You either learn to do it low cost or you're gonna to have to pay somebody quite a tidy sum of cash to do it for you. 
and typically you're going to be spending anywhere between 500 to 1000 pounds for an ad agency per month to look after your Facebook advertising and you're going to be spending similar again for the actual advertising itself. So understand you've got a choice. If you have that sort of income and you've got a high ticket program and you want to be earning 10, 15, 20k a month and you've got the cash, you may want to go down that route. But for most personal trainers, they're not in that situation. You're going to have to learn some of this stuff yourself and be a bit more organic about it uh, in how you attract those clients. But let me just share with you a really good and effective low cost method for getting to your ideal clients fast. And that's through joint ventures. Here's the example. And I've done this myself. And I'm about at the time of this recording, I've got one set up in a few weeks time. I partnered with a local podiatrist who high end podiatrist servicing and looking after the sort of clients that I see myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I know the people they're saying, saying can afford to invest and they want to invest in their health privately. So I simply said to them, and the company's called Total Foot Health, you can Google and find them in Salisbury, Total Foot Health. I said, look, I will provide for your clients a free uh, talk. And at the time it was a webinar, but it could just have easily been face to face. It was a webinar where I will provide it for free, how to you know lose weight and keep it off using an holistic approach. I think that would be beneficial to your clients. They agreed. I wrote the emails for them. They sent the emails out. They went to a landing page. People signed up. We got on the webinar. I presented to maybe half a dozen, dozen people or so. And a percentage of those people expressed an interest. And a percentage of those people became clients. That is a super easy, low cost way to get to your ideal clients very, very quickly. So you either learn how to do it or you're going to have to pay somebody to do it for you. That's number five. And then number six, develop a way to present your solution in an emotionally inspiring and easy to understand way. Why is that important? Well, it's important for this reason. People buy based on emotion. They then rationalize based on logic, their understanding of what's being presented to them. And one of the ways of making your presentation more emotionally engaging is to have a visual aspect to it. You know, I've been in this business for a while, so I can drop in visual things like before and afters. You know, I do like a, a journey of what people have been going through emotionally. So they're buying into it both emotionally and logically at the same time. And they can see what makes sense and how it makes sense to them. And they can picture themselves going on this journey. And it works incredibly well in terms of helping people to understand what it is you're delivering. Because if you miss out that, understanding component and you just go for the emotional press the hot buttons like I know some gurus talk about you need to get people on the phone and you've got to find the pain you've got to dig into that pain and make it really hurt for them I personally don't like that way of selling it's not my style I'd rather have a consultative approach with people uh, recognize this pain's there pain there I know that they know that but I'm not going to start poking it and twisting it and sticking the knife in to make them feel even worse I know the pain's there yes we'll talk around the topic Yes, they'll become emotional, but what I'll also do is make sure they understand the process that they may be getting involved in if they want to invest. Because if you don't do that bit of your sales, the understanding, the logic side of it, when they go away and the emotion's gone, they'll have what's called buyer's remorse if they have indeed invested. Because they'll be trying to figure out, is this the logical thing that I should have done? And if they can't you know, logically work out why they've done it, chances are you'll get buyer's remorse and you may get people ringing up and saying, actually, I want to cancel. So those are the six things that I believe you need to have in place if you want to create a client base where people are paying you high ticket prices, you're working less hours and you're not having to invest five, eight or ten thousand pounds or more with a PT business coach. By all means, you could still go down that path but you really don't need to. So my question to you is this, did you agree with what I've just said? Do those six things actually make sense to you? Do you agree with them? Do you challenge them? If you agree with them and you like this, then if this is on YouTube where you're watching it, hit that thumbs up button and maybe you wanna subscribe for future trainings. But also around this video, either in the description or somewhere around this video, there'll be a link to what I promised you at the start to this page. And this page will basically outline to you how you and I could potentially spend a whole, to, whole day together, either on a one-to-one -one or working in a small, small group where you'll come to me and you will, in the space of one day, create your high ticket program, understand and learn and put in place how to market and promote it and how to sell it all in one day. 
Now that might sound like unbelievable, but I'm that confident that I can help you to do that. I've given it a 100% money back guarantee as well. Because here's the thing that happens with a lot of personal trainers when it comes to trying to create a high ticket program and get out the gate. They simply get stuck. Even working with a high ticket guru, one of the challenges they have is they can't identify who they want to work with. And once they've identified it, they can't then work out how to put this program together. Because more often than not, they're working with a guru that's not a specialist in that area of weight loss, which is where I specialize. And for that reason, they end up giving them very generic information. So click the link around this video, go to the page, have a read through it if it makes sense. You can click to apply. And what will happen is you'll be asked a series of questions and then I invite you to get on a course. It's not a case of turn up, click and buy something. I actually want to have a conversation with you. Call me old fashioned that way. But I just think if someone's going to invest with me, I want to know a bit about them to make sure I really can help them. But also you want to have the opportunity to speak to me, ask some questions, you know, and actually get a feel of my tonality, how I answer questions. And if it feels right, then there's a possibility we could go ahead. So that's me all talked out for today. Definitely get around, click that link, check out that page if it's of interest to you. But until the next time, take very good care and bye for now.